can you please check that? Wait, what? What do I need to check? No. Okay. Alright. That's fine. What are you on about? That's absolutely fine. What are you on about? Here we are again with the world's most boring show about travel and tourism. Okay, yeah, we just keep chugging along, trying to make this more interesting, so we hope to have located some interesting news from around the world again. Featuring some more awards, some romantic places, Hobbiton, a luxury train, and oh, uh, something about the North Face. So keep tuned for that, because I'm actually pretty psyched about the North Face thing. But we're starting off with some uh, awards again. We go back to more World Travel Awards. We've covered a few in these past weeks and there's some more news. The world's leading destination is headed for the first time to the Maldives with, as earlier reported, Madeira being the world's leading island destination. Portobal Portugal gets another few wins in the leading destination award range with Lisbon uh, getting the world, world's leading city break and the Algarves uh, getting the world's leading beach destination. So for more results, please check the list down below because it's way too long to uh, stuff in this video. Uh, by the way, if none of these destinations suit your fancy or if you're looking for a more romantic getaway, we got you covered thanks to Travel Daily News. They report that Fez in Morocco is one of the best locations for a romantic trip for two. If you're more into nature, they say Big Sky in Montana, USA is a great romantic destination. And for thrill seekers, apparently it's Rio de Janeiro in Brazil because that's something tr thr thrill seekers go to. The article doesn't mention. Sorry about that, but apparently that's something. So we have now decided that we are going on that romantic trip to Rio. We are looking at a long flight, so we better not forget these accessories according to, again, Travel Daily News. Quality headphones. Now let's be honest, we really never should ever forget those. A good set of quality hair, uh, headphones makes a long flight just that much more bearable, especially if they are noise cancelling. A portable pillow to be more comfortable, maybe even a tra travel blanket which is not only nice on the flight, but one that strikes me uh, a bit more odd, by the way, is a hydrating face mask because your skin gets dry on a long flight. Have you ever had that issue? That's never come up with me, but my, to be honest, my skin's not the best to begin with. Thanks to a virus, that's too upbeat. Thanks to a certain virus we've been dealing uh, with for over a year now, it seems the virtual travel scene is growing. With many travel restrictions still in place, companies are looking to innovate in the travel scene. And virtual traveling seems to be a branch that could have some growth in it, especially using the growing virtual reality scene and the maturation of the technology surrounding that. That, well, some virtual adventures, I could see that happening from your own couch, you know, that could be an interesting thing. So we're off to New Zealand a place famous for its amazing landscapes, recently famous for its successful handling of this pandemic, but mostly famous for Lord of the Rings and a certain flightless bird. Uh, they have, uh, they named, well, they have actually named it, but Hobbiton has been uh, a great butterfly sanctuary. So that's actually pretty cool. Hobbiton is the set for the Shire, uh, where the main uh, characters of both the Hobbit series and the Lord of the Rings series comes from. And apparently the landscaping has helped rejuvenate or attract a lot of butterflies. That's cool. Ever been to Japan? Neither have we. Do we want to? Yes. Do we want to visit and ride on this train? That's a big yes. The Kyushu luxury train has been unveiled and in this Lonely Planet article you can see what it looks like and it's absolutely stunning. The sightseeing trip is supposed to be amazing and honestly looking at this train it definitely looks like a good ride. We couldn't find prices but looking at these pictures they look pretty expensive. So want to do a dream trip virtual or real life? 
maybe to the Dominican Republic. If there is no pandemic, I kind of want to go there in real life one day, uh, if I can afford it. But according to Travel and Leisure, there are better locations in the Dominican Republic than the popular Punta Cana, which is the Samana Peninsula where uh, some eco lodges have been highlighted in the region. Want to know more about this? Please read the lengthy uh, video down below because it's actually really interesting again, but way too long to fit in a short video like this. In some more great news, it looks like Cirque du Soleil will be ready for its revival uh, with new shows in the US starting next year. Early this year, sadly, Cirque du Soleil went bankrupt due to the coronavirus and resulting lockdowns and economic downturn. But new investors have picked up the traveling uh, Cirque show and are preparing to launch a new shows next year starting in the US. I've been to one of them, it's amazing. Like I'm glad they uh, are able to move forward. Who has not noticed the recent resurgent of North Face in the streets? The brand is gaining traction, but that is not what this little segment is about. This segment is about the new all-female snowboard film called Facets. Snowboarding is known as a pretty male-oriented sport, but as we all know, there are a lot of amazing women uh, in sports who deserve the spotlight to ignite the newer generation. And that is what this film is all about. Women being freaking awesome. So go check it out. It's a 10 minute video, uh, easy to find, amazing. Just watch it. And this week, we also want to end this one on a positive note. The Notre Dame Cathedral repairs have hit a milestone. The famous cathedral was in scaffolding when it caught fire last year. And the fear was removing the scaffolding would damage the building further. But it has, uh, but it had to be removed to start the process of the renovations. And luckily that happened without any major issues. And now the process of renovations can continue to bring uh, the landmark cathedral back to its former glory. So this was it for this week. Um, this might actually be it for this series. We are not entirely sure. Uh, we still enjoy doing them, but we really want to focus on something we can get uh, more out of, I guess is the right word to say. But if you like and subscribe us, uh, if you like us, please subscribe us to us. Damn it, this is not going well. You know what to do. It's click there. Please, maybe. Okay, see ya.